Do you guys like food? Because we do, and we're cooking together today, Hutch. Yes! Today we're gonna be cooking with Blue Apron, and this is a subscription My name is Hutch! Don't you ever do that again, I'm sorry. Like I was saying, we're cooking with Blue Apron. It is a subscription service where they send you ingredients and recipes, and it's all laid out really good for you to cook it, and nice and easy. You get to learn, you get to eat delicious food. Nobody's a professional chef here, but this kind of hones on your skills, and you get, you get better as you go. So that's what we're doing today. I have a, a link in the description where you guys can check it out, get some money off of your first order, and yeah, I encourage you to try it out. But today, we are cooking a delicious meal. Should we get to it? Yes. Just a quick little disclaimer, this is a paid advertisement, but I myself have been using Blue Apron for a very long time, and as always, I never share anything with you guys if I don't think you'd enjoy it. Today we're cooking beef albondigas with sautéed summer squash and pan con tomate. As always, we're going to start off with our prep work, but before we do that, we're going to preheat the oven to 450 so we get that nice and warm while we're getting everything going. First thing we're going to want to do after we've washed and dried all the fresh produce is peel and dice the onion. Next, we're going to peel our garlic and mince only one clove, leaving the remaining clove whole for later on. Next, we're going to go to work on our squash, halving it lengthwise and cutting it into half-inch slices on an angle. Then we're going to take our parsley and pick the leaves off the stems, discarding the stems and finally chopping only half of the leaves, keeping the remaining leaves whole. After that, we're going to core in half our tomato, small dicing only one half, leaving the other half intact. And then finally, all we have to do is cut our nice baguette here in half. Now that we have all of our ingredients nice and prepped, let's start cooking. We're going to grab a medium pan and heat about two teaspoons of olive oil on medium high until it's starting to get hot. After it's reached temperature, we're going to add our onion and half the minced garlic and season with a little bit of salt and pepper. Then we'll cook it in the pan for about two to three minutes, stirring occasionally until it's starting to soften up a little bit and starts getting nice and fragrant. After that, we're going to add in the spice blend and again season with a little bit of salt and pepper. Then we're going to cook it for about 30 seconds to a minute just to get it combined and stirred up a little bit. When that's all done, we're going to transfer all of this to a large bowl and rinse and wipe out the pan. In the same pan we just used, we're going to heat another two teaspoons of olive oil on medium high until it gets hot. Then we're going to add the squash and season with salt and pepper. We're going to cook the squash, stirring occasionally for about two to three minutes or until it starts getting lightly browned and softened. Next, we're going to add the remaining minced garlic and again hit it with some salt and pepper. Then we're going to cook that for about 30 seconds to a minute, stirring every now and then until it starts smelling really good. And once those are done, we're going to transfer them over to a bowl and set them aside to keep them warm. And now it's time for us to form our meatballs. We're going to take our ground beef out of the package and add it with raisins, breadcrumbs, and chopped parsley from earlier to our bowl of cooked aromatics that we also cooked earlier. Then we're going to season all of this with salt and pepper and gently mix it all up until it's just combined. After everything's nice and mixed up, we're going to use our hands to form about 12 to 14 equal size meatballs. Now using the same pan that we've been cooking everything else in, we're going to heat two more teaspoons of olive oil on medium high until it gets hot. We'll go ahead and add in the meatballs and cook turning occasionally for five to seven minutes or until it gets browned on all sides. While our meatballs are cooking, we're going to place our baguette halves on a sheet pan with the cut sides facing up. Next, we're going to drizzle some olive oil over the top of the baguettes and season with salt and pepper. After that, we're going to pop our baguettes into the oven and toast them for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they start getting nice golden brown. After our meatballs have become brown, we're going to transfer them over to a plate and carefully drain off and discard any drippings, leaving some brown bits or fond in the pan. Next, we add the tomato paste and season with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we cook all of this on medium high, stirring frequently for about one to two minutes or until it starts getting dark red. After that, we're going to add our diced tomato and add three fourths of a cup of water and the brown meatballs. And once again, hit it with salt and pepper. Then we're going to cook all of this, stirring occasionally and scraping up some of the fond or stuff at the bottom of the pan for five to seven minutes or until the meatballs are thoroughly coated and cooked through. And once we're all done, we're going to take the pan and remove it from the heat. After we're done cooking everything else, we're going to remove our baguettes from the oven and let them cool down for a little bit. Once they're cool enough to handle, we're going to rub each side of the toasted baguettes with the whole garlic clove that we saved from earlier. Then we're going to take our cut side of the tomato half and squeeze and press it into the bread as we go along. After that's all done, you can go ahead and discard the garlic clove and the tomato half. And after that, we're pretty much all done. All that's left to do is divide the cooked meatballs in the sauce and the cooked squash and plate them between two dishes. And then we're going to go ahead and take some of the whole parsley leaves that we saved from earlier and garnish our dish. 
And there you have it, all done and looking delicious. Only thing left to do now is try it out and see how it tastes. And we're done. This looks delicious. What are we eating, Hutch? Oh, I'm glad you asked that, Max. The answer is beef al bon digas oh, shit. with sauteed summer squash and pond con tomate. Mmm, so that's what it looks like. We're gonna dig in, try it out. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. That was good. Try the bread real quick. That crunch sound on that, too. I think we killed it. It's good, man. It's really good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more uh, recipes and things like this, let me know. Maybe we'll do some more in the future. Who knows? Um, other than that, link in the description for the code to get a discount on your ability to try it. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you guys next time. Happy cooking. Today we're going to be cooking some Blue Apron stuff, and Blue Apron is a My name is Hutch. Subscript <laughs> compervis. I, I don't know why I did that. It's fine. I thought it would be funny. It is funny. You know what? I want you to do it again. I'm going to be like, never do that ever again. Okay.